This whole project, people look forward to it every year now. Each spring, dozens of artists come from all over and converge on the Delmar Loop in order to compete in the Mannequins Project. Oh my gosh, this is in the Delmar Loop. This artistically oriented area makes sense. Um, but then they find out more about it and how much more it makes sense to embrace the artists that they support and, and the, the environment and everything else. Well, they're local and national artists. We solicit any artist within any median, um, 18 years or older, to participate. This is my second time doing this competition, so I've learned a lot from the first time. Molly Freilich is a recent MSU grad who came here from Springfield, Missouri, in order to pick up her mannequin. I didn't know that we could paint on it, that we could like extend the profile, um, that we could use more than just fabric. The artists picked up their mannequins <laughs> in late April. Each one is a blank canvas that can be decorated as much or as little as they like. Our goal is for you to not spend any money in this project, but to find recycled materials from just found objects that you can use. I have kind of like a steampunk sorceress in mind. It is the fifth year in the competition for Vicki Schultz. I am a steampunk artist and author. I write steampunk sci science fiction novels and then I create steampunk fashion from upcycled objects. We need to start reusing, saving our earth, reusing um, um, our recycled materials, materials can, being conscious, can of conscious of it. And that's really the great thing about partnering with the high school because that's our ne next generation. Students at University City High School collaborated on this mannequin, which stands as proud as a lion outside of Red Lion Customs, a clothing store. U City is unique and um, it's very artistic. The artists and designers each pay an entry fee, which goes to fund a scholarship. This year's recipient from New City is Camille Buck, who will attend Florida A&M University this fall. We're surrounded by uh, phenomenal educational institutions, Washington University, you know, um, other uh, institutions as well. And um, we have a phenomenal school district, so we have students that are participating in this project as well. So. And we have a phenomenal art program at University City High School. The scholarship is named for Dorothy Davis, co-founder of the Mannequins Project. She is also Audrey's mom. The rest of the money goes to the winners of the competition. First and second place get cash prize. And the third place is an audience favor where our visitors are welcome to vote on their favorite mannequin. It is the second time that Blank Canvas Studios is competing in the Mannequins Project. They took home a second place prize several years ago. The studio works with artists that have developmental disabilities and mental health challenges. What's been the hardest part about doing the mannequin? Um, making a head. The head part is the hardest, because you have to get the shades right, put all that paper mache on there, and let it dry. We did four layers. There's around 30 artists at the studio, and a lot of them had a hand in creating their mannequin known as Penny. This is the Peacock Diner mascot, Penny, who works as a waitress at the Peacock Diner. So she is serving you Peacock waitress realness. She's gonna have a tray. She is gonna have some boots. From this to this, the artists had four weeks to design and decorate their mannequins. When complete, each will highlight one of 21 small businesses throughout the Del Mar Loop. Artist M. Lene got the competition's very first plus-size mannequin in its 14-year history. I requested a plus-size mannequin. When I got here, Three Kings was assigned to it, so I'm just feeling like this is a divine situation. So I'm super excited that this is you know, the business that I'm pretty much representing. Shortly after we met in Lene, Three Kings restaurants and the upstairs apartments were ravaged by an early morning fire, leaving the Del Mar Loop location a total loss. Her mannequin is one of two representing Three Kings this year. And I just feel like I still wanted to kind of, you know, make, make them understand that they're not forgotten. 